Oh, yeah, you don't want that, John? You don't want that? Uh, yeah, I want that. All right, good. I'm going to the side. So, now, on the thesis statement, what I think a good thesis statement to start off with is Mr. Brian McLogan, all right, starts. I guess I'm a panda. So, what we're going to look at with this is we have 9 raised to the negative x plus 5 equals 27 raised to the 6x minus 10. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we need to find the same base. So you could say, oh, well, 9. Let's see if we can rewrite 27 as 9, right? So we have 9 to the first power. That equals 9. 9 squared, though, equals 81. So guess what? Using base 9 is not going to work. So we have to figure out another base. So let's just go down. Yeah, obviously 3 is, seems like an obvious choice, right? So can we write 9 as a base 3? equals 3 squared. What is 27 as base 3? 3 cubed. 3 cubed. So we have 3 squared equals 3 cubed. Then now we apply distributive property, because remember we multiply them when we raise an exponent to an exponent. Sorry? Uh, no, this is number 5. Now, since my bases are equal to each other, we know my exponents are equal to each other. So now you apply distributive property. Negative 2x plus 10 equals 18x minus 30. Add 2x plus 30. 40 equals 20x. Divide by 20. Divide by 20 x equals 2. Is that a problem, Austin? Got it? 